If you were one of the five people out there who thought OBS integrating virtual camera in version 26 was actually a downgrade from the OBS virtual camera plugin because of some missing features, you're in luck. Today's plugin video fixes all of that. I'm Abel Fox, the stream professor, and today we're looking at a new plugin here from Exceldro. This is the virtual camera filter. This basically allows you to take the traditional virtual camera output that OBS has, which by the way, if you don't know what that is, that is effectively OBS's ability to create a fake webcam from your OBS output, which is great if you have a webcam, a camera, capture card, what have you, that doesn't cooperate with, say, Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever you're presenting with or video conferencing with, or you just need to be able to do a full presentation through a software like those that I just listed that only accept webcam inputs. This makes it super easy. However, there are people who want to be able to just output a specific source and not their entire OBS scene to the virtual camera, and that hasn't been possible with the official implementation. It is now possible with this plugin. So go ahead and download the plugin from the description down below. Uh, you can use the installer or the whatever. I have a video link down below on how to install plugins. I'm going to download the installer and run it. Make sure you close OBS and then relaunch it after you install the plugin, or of course, it won't show up. So after installing the plugin, I have opened OBS Studio, and we have here just a basic stream layout. It looks kind of dumb, because apparently this plugin does not work with the new beta version of OBS Studio. It just keeps crashing it, and the, in the, pre, in the full release version is still working fine. So we have our sample stream layout, and if I wanted to... You know, what, what, what if I wanted to do like a co-op podcast kind of thing? Or what if I wanted to have someone on as a guest? Or like we're doing a, a, a multiplayer stream and they just want my face in their stream. Instead of having to import my entire feed, what if they just want my face? Because typically if we did this kind of capture, if I wanted to send my stream layout from OBS to another software, I'd click start virtual camera. And then I'd go into my video calling app of choice, go into the video settings, find the OBS virtual camera device listing, and test and whammo we're here this is great but every time we make any changes or change scenes or whatever that also affects the webcam which is cool if you want to do presentations if you want to specifically show everything but if you're just looking to do a specific source this is not what we want so instead we're going to click stop virtual camera and instead we go over here to a filter on your specific source now this works on both scenes and individual sources. So if you have multiple cameras nested in one scene and you want to use that as your source, that way you can still switch cameras. You can still do that. Right click filters, add a new filter and virtual camera. And then click OK. And click close. Bam. You do not click start virtual camera in OBS or that's going to mess everything up. Instead, you just add the filter. And it's going. Now this is going to appear mirrored in Discord specifically. That's a Discord thing. A lot of video conferencing apps will mirror your preview to try to make it easier for you to recognize which hand you're raising or whatever. Don't worry about it. It's showing the correct way to your call person or whatever. Uh, but then you also have the opportunity to... You can still blur your background if you wanted. Or put yourself in, in Dr. Disrespect's Wumpus territory or what have you. Like you can still do all those things while it's just nested in your stream sequence here. And this means if I hide it, it's still there. They etc. added an update to where it's still rendering even if the source isn't visible, which also means if I go over here and switch scenes entirely, we're still going too. It's amazing. This is super useful for video conferencing or scenarios I have seen where you have like a sponsor or a even like a vocal coach or just a teammate or you know one of your one of your staff on a video call with you to see your presentation and maybe kind of guide you or be your production manager or kind of give you cues on when to respond to chat and things like that and you can send them just you and still be able to stream or if you're doing video conferencing and you're presenting in a webinar but you need the call to still be able to see you separate you can manage those separately there's a lot of possibilities that open up with this if you're interested in using the virtual camera stuff in the first place so i just wanted to feature it here because it's pretty freaking cool you know what else is cool this segue to our sponsor so much of the tech that we cover here on this channel and even the video platform you might be watching it on is driven by algorithms, AI algorithms to recognize a face to track in a camera, algorithms to lead you to watching this very video in the first place. 
but algorithms actually impact nearly every aspect of our everyday life. It's kind of wild just how everywhere algorithms are. And the documentary Secret Rules of Modern Living, Algorithms, on CuriosityStream can help open your eyes on just how omnipresent algorithms can be. CuriosityStream is an entertainment powerhouse full of thousands of fascinating documentaries. They care about quality content so much that they, they formed a, a power duo with Nebula, my, the, the video streaming site that I built with my creator friends. My videos are higher quality there, ad-free, and often extended from the YouTube versions. And it's not just my content up there either. When you subscribe, you not only get access to CuriosityStream's library of thousands of fascinating documentaries, but you get access to my library of videos, but you also get videos from everyone else up on Nebula as well. So we're talking Low Spec Gamer, Thomas Frank, MKBHD, all of us. For a limited time, you can actually save on this amazing bundle. Curiosity Stream is offering 26% off the annual plan, making it under just $15 per year for a year of awesome content uh, across two different platforms. Not just one, but two. Deals that good don't grow on trees. So head to curiositystream.com slash ebos for the best deal in streaming and get your popcorn ready. This plugin opens up a lot of opportunities, as does pretty much every plugin Exceldro has developed. So if you're interested in learning more, perhaps you want to keep track of your scene collections to make sure you don't lose them or to make sure they're automatically backed up every time you make a tweak so that if you change something and break it, you don't have to restart all over from scratch because that is the life of a streamer and it sucks and you don't have to live that life anymore. You can get help from this video right here. Actually, it's probably over here from our end card about another plugin from Exceldro. Remember, be kind, rewind.